Hey, Quad Bros, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you guys here, and welcome back to another Quadro Quickie. It's been quite a while since we've done one of these, but I was getting some questions about the rifle grenades in Enlisted, the rifle grenade launchers in Enlisted over at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash heyquadro. Come check it out. And, you know, I figured, hey, this is a great topic for YouTube. Could educate some people, give you guys some tips and tricks about how to use these things. And so here we are. Now, the rifle grenades are unlocked at level 15 in Berlin, level 17 in Normandy and Moscow. They come with three rifle grenades and they are unique to the trooper class. Now, the only way to get more rifle grenades is, as you see here, is to equip two different rifle grenade launchers. So you have to have the secondary weapon slot unlocked and you have to have both weapon slots filled with the rifle grenade throwers. Now, I don't really recommend using these things as your primary um, weapon in any of the campaigns, even Moscow, where it might be better um, than a standard Mosin, you know, it's going to get outclassed by the SVT that you're going to unlock in just a few levels. So what I instead recommend, guys, is have a couple soldiers in your squads, maybe one or two at most, depending on the squad, um, and have them just equipped with these things because they are really effective at clearing out, you know, bunkers or trenches or, you know, wiping a big enemy squad that's a little too grouped up, things like that. They can be powerful tools, and they also give the troopers... A lot of firepower that they otherwise wouldn't have so again do it that way and what i recommend with that guys is have your trooper ones have secondary weapon slots and then your trooper twos can be your main soldiers with ammo bags it's, it's flip-flopped here but that's just because i was uh, i was testing things out so again trooper ones would have the secondary weapon slot with the double mosin rifle grenade throwers or whatever the rifle grenade throw uh, is for the campaign you're playing and then they are going to have the um the double rifle grenade and then your normal soldiers are going to be the uh, the standard, you know, SVTs, M1 Garands, uh, Gewehrs, you know, FG42s, whatever it is, things like that. So let's jump in practice mode here and let's show this off. Again, I have two rifle grenades equipped, so you're going to see I'm going to have six rifle grenades. Normally, you can only get three unless you equip both those things. Um, ammo bags and things like that do not do anything for that. So to use this, I'm going to hit the U button. You can see the button in the bottom right. I'm not sure what this is on console. I'm sure it's like left on the D-pad or something like that. Um, and then it's going to load it. But if I try to fire right now, I don't know if you can hear me clicking or not. I'm sure you can. Um, it's not doing anything. So you do have to manually reload the weapon every single time. And then now you can fire. So every time you fire these rifle grenades, you do have to manually load them, which adds a lot of time to getting it set up. So just keep that in mind. And remember also, these things do have a curve to them. So aim a little bit above of wherever you're trying to hit. So if I just aim right at these things, it's going to fall a little bit short. So just keep that in mind as well. Actually, those hit it. But um, here, you know, not quite far enough. And remember, you always just got to reload it. And if it's loaded and then you unload it and then, you know, oh, I'm shooting normally and then I want to load it back again, you're going to see here it is still loaded. So I don't really know why these don't just come loaded. They probably should, but um, as of right now, they do not. So let's jump in game, though, and show off and talk a little bit about how to use these um, while you're in match in a little bit more practical situations instead of just shooting targets. To start off with some basic tips here, guys, number one, make sure your weapon is good to go before you try to, you know, rush an enemy or get into an engagement. I mean, this is something that I personally struggle with a lot. Those of you that have come to my stream can attest to that. And I'm sure those of you that have watched the gameplay videos can attest to that. I'm a very aggressive player. And so a lot of the times I'm trying to load this thing while running into a building. And then I just end up getting shot in the face because I'm not ready to fire yet. So really just take a second. This is not really an aggressive weapon. It's more of like a, you know, get it ready. And then, then you can kind of be aggressive with it because it can fire so quickly. But just be aware of that. Make sure you're ready. And another important thing here is you're going to see here, I'm going to load the rifle grenade. I'm going to try to load it in and I'm going to load my normal rifle. That's something that can happen sometimes. Um, you're going to see in just a second, the same thing happening, except it loads the rifle grenade, even when there's ammo missing. Um, I, I, from what I understand, it's just like a 50, 50 chance. I think the game is just, just choosing one of the weapons to reload, but it can be really annoying. And there are a lot of times where I have died trying to load in the rifle grenade um, in a really aggressive push up position. And then I get killed because it's not it's not ready yet. And I load the wrong gun. So or the wrong thing, I guess it's they're both the same gun. Uh, regardless, just keep that in mind. Um, the other important thing, guys, is is knowing where to aim. So when you're firing at enemies, don't fire at the exact, like, don't, don't fire at the body of the enemy. You don't need to be blasting these guys, like, to smithereens by hitting them directly in the chest with a rifle grenade. Like, it's a grenade, right? Like, shoot at the ground, shoot at walls around them, especially when they're in buildings. Fire at the walls behind them. Um, the AOE will, 
kill them most of the time and at worst it's going to down them or something like that so just keep that in mind as well those of you that have played other you know shooters like call of duty or battlefield know how rifle grenades work right grenade launchers things like that um so just don't fire exactly at the enemy there fire at the area around them that's how it's going to be a lot more effective and you're going to get a lot more kills that way now remember like i said before there is a significant drop to these things at longer range um, the velocity up close is pretty good but also keep in mind that if you're really close you run the risk of blowing your smell or blowing yourself excuse me to smithereens because these things can and will kill you now when you want to use these things these are great like i've been saying for clearing out buildings you're going to see here i know there's some guys up in the buildings because i've had an ai um, or i had my last squad member killed i know they're up there i can see them shooting but i can't really see where they're at right it's so dark firing into this building this building in particular i love firing rifle grenades into because so many people love sitting up in those windows so when you're assaulting these can be really really powerful tools for wiping out enemies who are entrenched in these you know buildings up in these windows and things like how oh, i'm getting shot great just fire a rifle grenade at him right oh there's a guy there great just fire a rifle grenade over there you're probably going to do some damage right really really good tool for those guys those pesky snipers and pesky machine gunners who are sitting up in buildings or in bunkers and things like that um, very very good for clearing those guys out can be really good for clearing out rally points known areas where rally points are at um, very good for that as well otherwise just getting cheeky kills right Run, running into an area blasting the guy who's in front of you on the ground right just shoot the ground in front of them uh, ppshs mp40s smgs none of those really matter because this thing will kill them so ridiculously quickly that you'll probably be fine and you'll probably kill them before they can kill you so very very powerful tool although you do have to set it up like i've been saying now guys that's really it for me that's most of the tips if you guys have anything to add make sure to drop it down in the comments below i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts um share your guys' experiences with this weapon what's been working for you guys and what hasn't been working you guys agree with my ideas and my tips here um otherwise guys i don't have anything else thank you guys so much for watching remember come follow me over at twitch.tv slash hey quadro trying to push for partners so we can finally you know do this truly full time make youtube videos for you guys full time and um make content for you guys full time and uh remember you can also join our community discord the link for that is down in the description below the link for everything is down in the description below and without anything else guys i'll stop rambling Take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time.